Joe won't let the MAGA Republicans take away Medicare. Oh, mega Republicans. Oh, Whoa. mega. I got to say it right. Mega. mega Republicans take away Medicare. Roll it. All right, let's see how many lies we can get. <laughs> you docs are good. If there's any angels in heaven, they're all nurses, male and female. Was that a sentence? What? You know why? You guys Wait. let us, you guys make us, allow us to live. Nurses make you want to live. I'm not joking. You lie there in the ICU, which I've done for a restart long time, here. and you look at those machines. Oh, yeah. And yeah, you we know. Restart. Gee, can we restart flat, this one more time? I just got to focus in on that opening sentence. Well, is that okay, listen. You docs are good, but if there's any angels in heaven, they're all nurses, male and female. You know why? <laughs> Wait, what? You what guys Zima? let us, you guys make I us, about a docs allow us to live. <laughs> Nurses make you want to live. I'm not joking. You lie there in the ICU, which I've done for a long time. How would they look know? Look at those machines. <laughs> you lie in the ICU. You know, I've done that for a long line time. Line goes flat. <laughs> His whole career. Over, but you get tired. <laughs> I had a nurse named Pearl Nelson, military. She'd come in and do things that I don't think you learn in medical school. Oh. School. oh. Does she Jill know about this? She whispered in my ear. couldn't understand him. She whispered so much bad. Now. <laughs> He'd actually breathe on me to make sure that I was a, there was a connection, a human connection. <laughs> she even went home and brought back her pillow from her own bed because he didn't knew not the one I had the one it. comfortable. But I'm not joking. My pillow? <laughs> my dad, if you have a seat, please take it. If you don't, take come on up on stage else. with me. Take it. You know, and Robin, thank you for the introduction. Robin, my dad used to say it a little differently. My dad used to say everybody needs a little bit of breathing room. We weren't poor. We were a typical middle-class family. Four kids. We lived in a three-bedroom split-level home with a grandpa. And my headboard was up against the wall where my dad's on the other side. My dad and mom. Oh, God. One night, I remember my dad. You could hear how restless he was. Oh, I'm sure that's mayor what Bobby it was. Dyer, the mayor came out. I told the mayor. He was very gracious with me, even though I'm one of those Democrats. He came out to the airport to greet me. And I said, you know what the worst sentence in the English language is? I'm at the airport. <laughs> Toughest job in American politics. You know why? You all know where they live. <laughs> no way to go to the Dunkin' Donuts or the local store without, Mr. Mayor, what about this? By the way, there's an awful lot of really good Republicans. But the MAGA Republicans are a different breed of cat. There you go. No, they're not bad or good. They're, just very, they're very different. We expanded health insurance for millions under the Affordable Care Act. What? By making it easier to sign up. And by making it cheaper to get better health care and affordable care, saving families $800 a year. Ooh. Where I come from, $800 matters. Right now, the government, our tax dollars, pay out through Medicare the help for the prescription drugs. If they have to pay out $159,000 billion less. <laughs> it's not calculus. <laughs> less. They're laughing at him now. Again, sadly, the mega Republicans. The mega Republicans. <laughs> The Congress, those in Congress are threatened to undo the gains. They want to do away with that Affordable Care Act. So you know, you hear ads of the big spending, Joe Biden. Here we go. In two years, I reduced the debt. I reduced the debt. <laughs> $1.7 billion. Oh my God, so $1.7 billion. So baloney. The largest deficit reduction in American history. I want to make it clear. I'm going to raise some taxes. As for my, 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 my mega Republican yeah, friends, of course they say they want to reduce the deficit. <laughs> we did the math. Based on what we know so far, they could change their minds. Their plans would explode the deficit, increasing it more than $3 trillion over the next 10 years. They're the facts. Not making any of you. As they used to say, it's even it's no longer relevant. But Google it. You know, the mega Republicans in <laughs> Congress relevant. are uh, want, do they still want to cut Medicaid? During the State of the Union, as some of you may have seen, remember when Marjorie Taylor was yelling, liar, liar, Biden's a liar? <laughs> I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good. We don't want to cut anything. I, so I, when I asked, I said, OK, you don't want to cut anything. Everybody who says we're not going to cut Medicare or Social Security, when I asked them to join us and reject the cuts in Medicare, wasn't it something? They all stood up. Like I said, I believe in conversion. Maybe they found, as my grandfather's, maybe they found religion. Look, make no mistake. 
Mega, mega Republicans mega, mega. Mega. try to take away people's health care. we go. By gutting the Medicaid and Affordable Care Act. If that's their I dream. will stop them. Folks, watch me. Families across the country are starting to breathe this a little easier. What? <laughs> Jeez.